All new at 6 o'clock. Down on the ground, holding her head steady, trying to stabilize her. Quote. But she never regained consciousness. Or anything. Mm. In 2007, Ben Barry lost his wife while she was cycling across the country to raise awareness for brain injuries. Tonight, Ben remembers his wife, Leanne. And next Sunday, the city of Charlotte will remember 205 people who have lost their lives in the last three years due to car accidents. It is a part of World Day of Remembrance. These photos right here are from 2019, and they show every life lost with an empty pair of shoes. Whether these people were walking, cycling, or behind the wheel, the city says 205 deaths, just way too many. Liliana Pearson is at Forest Ward Park, where the event will be held. And Liliana, the event is to remember, but also to raise awareness. That's right, Jamie. Awareness is going to be such a big part of this. And typically, the National or the World Day of Remembrance is celebrated every single year. But because of the pandemic, it was put on hold the last three years. So we're going to see on the 20th, 205 pairs of shoes. That's going to honor every victim that was involved in a vehicle-related accident here in Charlotte over the last three years. Whether these were people that were just on their way to work or they were like Leanne Barry, who was on a cross-country cycling trip, who was no stranger to car accidents. The first time Leanne Barry was hit by a car, she was five years old. So this car just ran her over. So it, uh, I'd say they didn't really expect her to ever walk again. But thanks to an experimental surgery when she was 16, she was able to start building her dream. She would undertake multiple cross-country trips, making dozens of stops along the way to raise awareness for people who had brain injuries just like her. She put it all together and did a great job, and nobody could, of course, you look at her, you could tell she was so sweet, nobody could say no to her. But in 2007, as she was on her final leg back to Charlotte, she and fellow rider Tom Hoskins were hit by a distracted driver and both died. She had this uh, magic, you know, you could, uh, there would be a whole gymnasium full of little rugrats, you know, when she spoke, you could hear pen drop. Charlotte's Day of Remembrance is dedicated to people just like Leanne and Tom. The 205 people being honored here will be represented by pairs of shoes, just like this display from 2009. We all take driving very much for granted and don't realize that our vehicles, in some cases, can become deadly weapon. A day to honor those we have lost and the contribution they made to our lives cut short. Leanne and Ben both lived an incredibly dedicated and passionate life. And you can actually read all about it in this memoir that Ben wrote. It's called Moment by Moment on the Big Ride. You can read all about the journeys that they took together as they were working to raise awareness for traumatic brain injuries. In Charlotte, I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV, on your side. I think it's really worth our time. Liliana, thank you. And you can visit.